So let's, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the components of the Starburst Data Lake House. We're going to talk a little bit about optionality, flexibility, open table formats, performance and scalability, and then native security. What we want to do is call out these components and really address what makes them the data lake house and how they contribute to a successful storage system. So let's talk about optionality. Here at Starburst, we believe that you should incorporate optionality into your data ecosystem. That way you can future-proof your architecture for any technologies or data innovations that arise. Um, we all know that the postmodern data stack, it's kind of like a hot term, but it is growing rapidly. And who knows, there may be a new tool that you want to incorporate in a year that we don't know about yet. By embracing that separation of storage and compute with your data, you can prevent vendor lock-in and you can remain agnostic in your cloud storage because we can connect to multiple different clouds, your table format, and, and even your data sources where, where you're getting that original source of data. So by building your data lake house with Starburst, you can rest assured that you can integrate multiple different table formats and connect to different clouds to fit your needs. So the next thing we want to discuss is flexibility. The Starburst Data Lakehouse also lets you incorporate flexibility into your ecosystem. It lets you specify your cost and performance efficiency that fits your needs. Um, specifically, you get to specify the cluster that, may, that makes sense for you. Um, especially with cluster auto-scaling that is now enabled, it lets you scale up and down your compute resources automatically and meet the demand of your actively running queries. Starburst Galaxy also lets you run both interactive and long-running queries, um, utilizing ANSI SQL for your data transformations that you want to do. We also have a new feature called Schema Discovery, which allows you to analyze a root object in your object storage location and return the schema structure of any of the discovered tables. This helps you get the most out of your data, which can be stored in many different file types, such as JSON, Perk, ORC, and text. And it's just another part of the flexibility to get the most out of your data. So let's continue on and talk about on the theme of autonomy and talk about open table formats. Um, the Starburst Data Lake House has enabled Starburst Galaxy to connect to multiple different open table formats, such as Hive, Delta Lake, and Apache Iceberg. We know we have big Apache Iceberg fans in the crowd, um, and definitely it's used in a lot of our demos, as well as Delta Lake has some amazing features that we've been able to utilize. And all you have to do is pick your format of choice when you're configuring your object storage catalog. And Starburst Galaxy will manage the rest behind the scenes for you so you don't have to. This lets you kind of leverage the power of these open table formats, you know, the faster performance, the additional benefits like schema evolution, time travel, more of the benefits of those open table formats. But you can also work with different table formats seamlessly. Um, again, allowing you to instantly leverage the data warehouse like functionality within your data lake house. Moving on to performance and scalability, with connections to multiple on-premise and cloud-based storage locations um, and a highly performant query engine built at scale, Starburst Galaxy is the best engine to power your data lake house. Starburst Galaxy is built on Trino, which is designed to query data at a petabyte scale and high concurrency and has multiple cost-based optimizations built into the engine to be as efficient as possible. You can easily and automatically scale up and down your clusters to accommodate the workloads and meet your demand. We touched on this beforehand with the flexibility, but it does come back to a scalability, just something that really allows you to reduce your infrastructure cost that may be required for your target experience because you can then um, auto scale your cluster to only meet that peak performance at that specific time. And then let's jump to talk about native security. Your lake house must also incorporate some type of native security in order to ensure data governance and data compliance. We know that those are also 
um, really evolved within the last five, 10 years is really how we manage our data and the types of rules and regulations we have around it. Um, Starburst Galaxy has now incorporated some store um, storage location based off of privileges so that you can specifically assign privileges to a location. That's down here, this example in the corner or in the bottom of the slide. And Starburst Galaxy also lets you assign role-based access control down to the table level. And so you can configure all of the proper access for a, a multitude of different users. As an administrator, you can completely customize access for multiple different roles, allowing you to assign different privileges to different groups of users. You can also configure your SSO identity provider to include Starburst Galaxy as a supported application, which is currently supported by Okta, Azure AD, and Google Workspace. 